Hey, welcome to another quick tip. So recently, um, I came across a um, a Blender video, um, and it showed some some nice uh, real time viewport matcap materials um, that are great for modeling. So um, you know, recently I've been doing more and more um, hard surface modeling and ZBrush, and there's some materials matcaps over there I love uh, modeling with. So when I saw the Blender um, video, then it just got me thinking um, about getting getting into max getting a material like that going in max and um, i remember looking into it a couple of years ago and um i don't know i just didn't bother following it up then but this time around i decided to because um jealousy really <laughs> if blender can have it max can have it so this led me to this um website and this is one of the first spots i landed on and, and actually gave me a perfect perfect solution so this bloke here um veda 3d um, he lays it all out here how to set it up uh, it's very easy and basically um, you're going to be using um, uh, shader effects or sorry not shader effects a uh, direct X shader in max um, so you can download this uh, mapballs.fx shader so um, most people now are going to be working in nitrous as is the case with me so I downloaded this one mapballs 11.fx um, and then he gives you, you know, instructions how to do it. I'm going to show it here, but it's quite simple. Um, now he shows here how to do it for view. But you can't, and one won't work for the other. So viewport and rendering isn't going to work because of the nature of uh, these lit sphere matcap materials. So he set up um, a shell material here to get them both working together. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show the viewport one because that's all I was interested in myself for modeling. Um, but if you're interested in setting it up there, it's meant right here, but you can easily adapt it for V-Ray or whatever, Corona. Um, so I'm just going to show the viewport version. So the lit spheres are basically just, um, you know, this image. So all I did here was, uh, um, there's many ma ways to create them. They've been around for a long time now. Um, you can either set up a scene in your 3D application and apply um, any texture to uh, a sphere and then light it and render it and crop the image it's very important that this is the format that you're going to be using so the image is cropped right to the edges in this case I just subdivided a sphere in ZBrush applied it in a matte cap and print screened and cropped it in Photoshop and that's enough um, it derives its information here um, from the lighting on this sphere here well basically from the color values um, so you can also create them in ZBrush um, using the uh, light caps and um, so there's several different ways to create them they're quite easy or you can just be lazy and download them <laughs> so I've downloaded a couple of these packs the 3d one and this uh, pixel CG and once you've downloaded all that stuff stick it wherever in the folder and um, you're ready to go and also as well, this bloke's created um, a Mac script, um, Litsphere lib library, and uh, you can just automatically um, set them all to a, a max.math file and whatever folder. It'll automatically, the script will automatically create it to it. You point it to a directory and it'll automatically create um, a .math file um, with all those materials containing those Litsphere images. And I'll show a bit, I'll show more now. We get into Max. So yeah, Veda 3D. Um, just type in Veda 3D uh, Litsphere or whatever. So into Max. And um, I'm just going to use a couple of different models for, to show a couple of different um, features for the demonstration. So I'll just open up the Material Editor. And all you have to do basically is um, just uh, use a direct X shader. And uh, you leave it on HLSL and just uh, click on this and navigate to wherever you saved them. Um, wherever you saved this mapballs 11.fx, and it'll automatically um, set it up here, uh, mapballs technique. And then you just need to add your Litsphere map. So, same again, just navigate to wherever you have them. and here's the library and here's what I was talking about and um, these are all cropped and you might recognize a few of these from ZBrush so I'll um, 
you can just select and you can play around with them. And you notice here, um, if this happens here, it just means that um, if you don't have UVs, it won't display correctly. So you can simply just add, um, you know, a UV map. Has he got a turbo smooth on? You can just add a UV map and set it to box. basically it then you can just uh, collapse it again so that's orange boxes in the nine and here we pretty much have um, ZBrush Mac caps the max viewport um, so you can play around with them you could probably <laughs> spend hours just uh, you know applying these different um, um, different lit sphere images and um, that's basically all there is to it you can also add a normal map in here I'm not going to do it here but and just to let you know that the options are also available. Um, so I'm just going to um, I'll hide him. And here's a hard surface piece as part of a character I recently created. Um, so I'll just decimate it. Um, a decimated mesh from ZBrush. Um, so I'll apply that material. And same thing happens there so um, these actually do have uh, UVs so if they didn't so I'll just say UV mapping clear you're gonna get that same effect but as I say these do um, these do have UVs so you know for it's nice to show off hard surface stuff. Um, you know, you could put various different kind of metals on it. Um, and one I particularly lo love is this one here, uh, bubble gum. I don't know, just this uh, <laughs> is certainly subjective sort of stuff. But you know, you just you don't need to have millions and millions of them. Just pick you know several that you like, or even take the ones from ZBrush that you like modeling with, if you use it, of course. Um, and apply it. Um, so also another um, no use for this because these are uh, decimated, and the wireframe <laughs> isn't very nice to look at. But uh, I'll just use this um, example here. You know, so it has a bit more of a reasonable kind of wireframe. Um, and. Uh, Bake in that yeah, UVW mapping and apply a turbo smooth and turn on eyes line display. And you know, this could be nice for um, just for presentation screen grabs or whatever. Um, and that is pretty much it. We have one last thing I'd like to show is a uh, Where's it gone? No, it's not gone there. Um, sorry, yeah, it's in here. Um, this E3D. Uh, the <laughs> good old Red Wax from ZBrush is here, and these are you might know these. Here's Antique Bronze, yeah, uh, Sculpey. These are um free to download from E3D, but they're uh, essentially ZBrush mag caps. So um, that's the red clay that is defaulted in ZBrush that I absolutely hate. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to show a comparison here for use this clay that was added here in Max in the last couple of versions. It's pretty much the same, but um, this has to be progressively rendered by Nitrous. So every time you know you move around and do anything, you can see here it's cleaning up. It's progressively rendering because Nitrous is a um, I suppose a render engine, uh, viewport render engine. So that's an instant sort of a advantage you have over it. Plus, you have instead of just having a single clay material as they have here, you pretty much just have an infinite amount because you can keep on making these. There's an antique bronze from ZBrush. So 
yeah that is that's that's pretty much it so um one other thing to mention is um there is a great uh, poly poly count thread linked in this page somewhere um let me see oh yeah i think you can just uh if you click on one of these um it'll just take you straight to uh yeah that one there see poly count and that goes to the bloke's website um pr Bo boem and that goes to the poly count thread I'd, I'd advise it goes back to 2008 so it's definitely worth a read if you're interested in them um, if you're interested in this so up your air splendor so yeah um now max users can finally have them um, some of the great features of uh, the free 3D application Blender. All right, then. Hope this was uh, useful and uh, people enjoy using these because I'm certainly going to. All right, then. Cheers. Thanks. Good luck.